Hi guys, it's me. It's the first day of spring. It's around 9 o'clock at night. Um, it's really snowy today, so I'm kind of bummed that the first day of spring is like this. I thought we were done with the snow, but you know what? I will live. Um, so yeah, I had several options. I could go out tonight, do different things, but I kind of just needed to take a evening for myself and just do what I enjoy, relax, um, all that jazz. I just kind of wanted to touch base with some things. I have a lot of new things going on. So I'm in the process of finding a new apartment again. I know I always move every year, so hopefully I'll be staying at this new place for more than I normally do. Um, so I found my roommate though. It's so funny. So I was in a coffee shop with some friends and I just, if you know me, I just talk to random people all the time. So I kind of were, were, was, sorry I stuttered, was talking to these girls um, that were sitting next to us for a little bit. Um, and then after we were kind of like doing our own thing, I heard one of the girls say how she just wants a roommate that she's not friends with. And I kind of looked over and I was like, I want a roommate who I'm not friends with either. So now we're living together. She's really sweet. Um, we found this place. It's so cool. It's like this renovated warehouse. Um, we just are looking for a third roommate. So just a side note, if you are looking for, yes, you a place to live in Philly next year starting in May this year starting in May hit me up okay um, so it's really cool and I'm really excited about that um, and their pet policy is really flexible so that means I can get my Sheltie dog it's gonna be awesome I'm so excited for my Sheltie dog you have no idea um so yeah what else is new I got into temples MSW Advanced Standing Program, which is really exciting. I'm super proud of myself. So I got into Temple and Pitts MSW Advanced Standing, but I'm, t I'm deciding to decline for right now, maybe defer. Um, I just need, you know, to stop school. I need to take a break. Um, just spend some time for myself. I So I'm kind of in the process of finding some jobs. I went on an interview today for like the Philadelphia Nanny Network or something um, and they are kind of like a liaison and they find um, families looking for nannies so I have a lot of experience that might pan out. Um, being a nanny isn't necessarily my dream job but for that year two years I take off before grad school um, it'll be a good way to pay the bills and save up money for grad school and traveling and shelties and all of that exciting stuff. So um, I'm open to that. I also might be looking at potentially being interviewed for uh, to be a mental health therapist for children with autism. Um, and it's with the Center for Autism in Philadelphia. So the position would just be a summer position like at their summer camp, which could lead to, well, the HR lady said it could probably lead to um, a full-time job. So I'm more excited about that because it's it it would be actually using my degree. Um, yeah, and I feel like it would be purposeful. So I'm hoping that pans out. I am also just looking around for other jobs. Um, I'm really open right now. I'm really just open to, to try new things. And, you know, I just want to be able to pay my rent and bills and save up money. Um, I'm really trying to be content with what I have and I'm super grateful. Um, recently I've been asking myself, um, throughout the day, okay, am I grateful? You know, just seeing how much I have and seeing how much I'm blessed with good supportive parents and friends that really support me and I am, we, people can just lose track of how grateful they should be for things I think and I know it's cliche to say that um, but it's true I think we take for granted a lot of things and so I don't want to take for granted everything I have right now I know I have less than two months of school left and I really just want to marinate 
um, in the next couple weeks and really be present in that. Yeah, I'm planning a lot of things for the future, but I really just want to spend time with my friends and um, really enjoy them. I'm really enjoying being around people and like meeting new people and just hearing their stories, opening my mind to their perspectives of the world and challenging my own beliefs and all of that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm really happy with where I'm at right now. Uh, my business, I had my first party last night, um, and I was super nervous, and I don't really get nervous for that many things. So it kind of was, like, really cool, to be honest, to be nervous, because it showed, I was, showed myself, I was putting myself out of my comfort zone, and I'm really proud of myself for doing that. I was really nervous beforehand, because no one showed up on time, and I was like, oh my gosh, no one's going to show up to my party. I had like several people cancel and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is going to be awful. But um, yeah, like 12 people showed up. Um, I booked some parties. Uh, it was just great. I had such a great time being with the ladies that came and just talking with them and spending time with them. It was amazing and I can't believe I got paid to do that you know what I mean um I really think this is gonna be a great this is a great thing I'm really happy I signed up with pure romance um so that's new that's exciting what else oh so with my internship and stuff um I'm creating a mental health resource guide, um, which is kind of overwhelming to me, but it's really kind of cool to see what kind of resources that Philly has for children regarding mental health and such. It's also a great way. That's that's how I kind of found this job opening that I might be getting, um, just talking to people. And so I actually, with the Center for Autism, I was talking to them, and they actually have external training and I'm going to be planning this entire autism training with First Home Care, my foster care agency I intern at and I, I I just think it's really cool. I get to take that initiative. Um, I'm really trying to step my game up and work harder with things I have been really focused and determined recently and I'm really proud of that. I think I mentioned that in a past video but oh well. Um, so yeah, everything is going well. This weekend should be good. Yeah. Thank you everyone who supports me and loves me and accepts me for who I am. Um, you all are a blessing. Thank you so much for being involved in my life. I'm really appreciative for all of you who have helped um, develop me to who I am today. Because I'm really loving it right now. Okay, folks. Have a good weekend. Have a good Friday night. Uh, yeah, love to you all. Mwah. <laughs>